This is Bishop John Durfler of the Diocese of Marquette. Dear sisters and brothers in Christ, in the last message I reflected on the sacrament of penance. In this message I would like to reflect on the sacrament of the anointing of the sick in which God strengthens us in times of serious illness. Both penance and anointing of the sick are sacraments of healing. It is common for us to experience anxiety when we are seriously ill or before a serious operation. We might worry about what is going to happen to us. This emotional suffering adds to the physical suffering that we are enduring. In times like these, God comes to our aid with the sacrament of the anointing of the sick. The sacrament can be received any time we face a serious illness or surgery or when we are suffering due to old age. We do not have to wait until right before we die, although it is also fitting to receive the sacrament at that time. God wants to help us with his grace, so why wait? Thus we can see how the anointing of the sick strengthens our friendship with Jesus. Like a good friend, he comes to comfort and strengthen us in our time of need. He unites us and our own suffering with his. We are not alone in our suffering. Jesus is here walking with us on the way of the cross to the glory of his resurrection. The outward sign in this sacrament is the anointing with a blessed oil called the oil of the sick. And the priest says the words, through this holy anointing, may the Lord in his love and mercy help you with the grace of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord who frees you from sin save you and raise you up. As with all the sacraments, there is a sign that shows us that God is giving us his grace and in this case, the grace to bear the suffering due to serious illness, surgery, or old age. Let us thank the Lord for coming to our aid with the anointing of the sick. This is Bishop John Durfler of the Diocese of Marquette.